Hi, I'm Father Sean McManus, President of the Irish National Caucus in Washington, D.C. This is my third social media video on the upcoming 100th anniversary of England's unjust and undemocratic partition of Ireland. That partition, enacted by England, on December 23, 1920, was also racist, meaning anti-Irish, and sectarian, meaning anti-Catholic. Imagine the imperial hubris and colonial arrogance it took to do this to partition an ancient country like Ireland. England set up the artificial, gerrymandered, six-county state of Northern Ireland to be anti-Irish and anti-Catholic, to maintain a continuing foothold for England on the island of Ireland. Nobody can dispute that. Now, those who support England's partition also like to refer to Northern Ireland as Ulster. But here's the thing. The historic province of Ulster one of the four provinces in Ireland has nine counties, not six counties. So what happened to the other three counties, which are Donegal, Cavan, and Monaghan? Why were those three counties excluded? from the new bogus state of Northern Ireland? The simple answer is because there would have been too many Catholics in those counties. It's as simple and as blatant as that. So England not only partitioned Ireland, but Ulster as well just as it had done throughout its empire, chopping and changing and dividing and conquering and splitting historic regions, nations and countries with total disrespect, doing whatever suited its imperial, colonial greed and plunder. Who can dispute that? Indeed, England's racist, anti-Catholic border even chopped up farms, fields, roads, houses, and homes, placing part in the six counties and part in what later became the Irish Republic. Now, I was born and reared close to this racist, anti-Catholic border in County Fermanagh, in the historic parish of Kinoli, which has had an, a church presence since the 6th sixth, sixth century. This parish extends into County Cavan, into the Swanland Bar area. So, overnight, on December 23rd, 1920, my historic parish was partitioned, divided, split and separated, part in the six county state and part in the 26-county state. 
And that's another reason why I cannot stand England's undemocratic, racist, and anti-Catholic border. That is why our One Ireland petition is so fitting and timely. Ireland, too, has the right to be one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This splendid petition is posted on change.org, on Facebook, and on the Irish National Caucus website, irishnationalcaucus.org. Please sign and share this splendid petition. It is free and only takes a few minutes. Sign it in the name of justice and peace in the name of truth and reconciliation, in the name of human rights and solidarity, sign it please, because as a famous American Protestant scripture scholar states, in biblical faith, the doing of justice is the primary expectation of God. And we can surely add the doing of justice is also the primary expectation of all decent people, just people all across the world, people of faith, and of no faith. God save Ireland and God bless you.